This is how to code like a pro in Roblox Studios. First of all, you gotta use these things called remote events. Um, they're like the best things ever. Usually you put it in the re uh, replicated storage and um, it's pretty simple. You can send information from the client script to a local script. And that's basically exactly what it does. So for example, if you wanna send like information like uh, top secret, uh, what, uh, yeah, secret info, uh, you just call the remote event, and then fire client, and then you just gotta select a player for the client remote event, which, uh, simple, I guess, um, you just go, uh, you just have to put the player ID in that thingy, and then you have to put your top secret information in the second thing, and over here, you just gotta call the uh, remote event as well. But instead of doing fire, you're gonna do on uh, client event. Yeah, and you can connect that to a function and do whatever you want. And then you got your info. Yeah, that's how you spell info. And then you can print info. And then if you press play, look at that. It doesn't work. Uh, wait. We have to just wait. Yeah, that's um. Uh, it's kind of what we have to do, I think. Hey, look at that. One, two, three, four printed right there. It works. Another thing you should probably uh, be doing is making all your GUIs with a uh, local script. Because you have remote events, there's like uh, no point in not. So, so like you can just do something like uh, frame, uh, add like a text button. And then script up dot text equals in font. Yeah. And then... You can do this uh, thing with local scripts and local scripts only dot activate, which is just a better version of mouse button down. It activates when any device clicks it. And now, now uh, we can uh, print the text of that when you press the button. Wait, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, don't mind the air. I fixed it. Now look at that. One, two, three, four. Boom. It doesn't work. Okay, but now it works. Um. That's kind of all you need to know, so bye.